All right, the third thing that we're going to be looking at for review is sinusoidal functions. Okay, remember that's any function uh, that is periodic, right? That goes like that, right? So for this, we're going to make sure our calculators are in uh, radian mode to do these questions. And so I'm not going to go into converting from degrees to radians and stuff like that. That's stuff you kind of have to review as well on your own. Uh, right? This we're just going to be talking about actual uh, regression and the formula. So I don't know if it is written in your notes, but the one we are going to be looking at is uh, y equals to sine and then there's not a number here so we'll put a 1 x plus 60 minus 2 now if you remember from back in the day this would be our a this would be our b this would be our c and then this would be our d now this question asks us for range amplitude period and equation for the midline. Okay, well now, first of all, let's, let's talk about, uh, if we went right for range, it might not make sense. So let's talk about amplitude. Remember, this is amplitude. Now that is how tall the graph is from the midline, which is there. Okay, so we have a graph that has a midline, so if here's zero, it has a midline at negative 2, right? So our midline is negative 2. And the amplitude is up to and down to. So the next thing we can talk about is our amplitude which equals 2 and we get that we said we get our D is our midline A is our amplitude so the tallest this graph would get is 0 right and the lowest it will get is negative 4. So then we would put our y. Y is going to be less or equal to 0 or greater or equal to negative 4. Remember, we read from the inside out. So this is our range. So we've done our range. We've done our amplitude. We have done our equation of our midline. The next is our period. Remember that period is 2 pi over b. What is b? b is 1. So our period is 2 pi over 1, which equals 2 pi. So therefore, we have solved amplitude, range, period, and equation of midline. So actual the actual equation, I guess, of the midline is y equals negative 2. Okay. Example two, uh, Ashley boards the Ferris wheel. Uh, when the ride begins, her position can be modeled by this function here. Again, this is my A, this is my B, this is my C, and that's my D. Now the equation of the diameter, or determine the diameter, sorry. Now remember, this is our midline, right? So our midline is 47 and the Ferris wheel is going to go up to 43, right? It's going to be going down 43. So you can see that the diameter of our Ferris wheel would be 2 times 43 which would equal 86 meters is our diameter. 
Now, how long does it take for the Ferris wheel to complete one revolution? It's asking for the period. And remember, period is 2 pi over b. So in this case, b is 3.5, right? So we're going to go 2 pi, oops, 2 pi divided by 3.5, which equals 1.795 minutes. Now, how high above the ground is actually at the lowest point? So at the lowest point, well, we got 43 or 47 minus 43. So at the lowest point would be 4 meters. Okay, and how did I know? So I guess I'll back up. How did I know this is minutes? It says time is in minutes. Okay, so the next one is an actual sine regression. Okay, now sine regression. If you remember, we've already done some in the other reviews. But the first thing we need to do is we need to go to stat, edit. And what I've done is I've already pre-put these in all the way to... 36 into L1, L2. Okay, so you can see I've done that. So, remember, this chart goes on and on. So this is L1, L2. This is still L1, L2, L1, L2, L1, L2. So we first put that into our calculator. And then we go and we can get out of here. Sorry, I had a little interruption there. Okay, so uh, first of all, how did I get this? Well, so I'm going to go out of here. Okay, now first of all, make sure you're in radian mode. That's another thing. Uh, now, how did I get that formula? Right, we go stat, calc, and we can go down or go up to C, sine regression. Okay. So, and then I hit sign regression and I hit enter again. And there's a lot of data, so it takes a bit. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So, it tells you what A, B, C, and D are. So, let's write that down. Uh, so, it is Y equals 2.73 sine 0 0.506 x plus 3.02 plus 4.4261. And again, this is our A, this is our B, this is our C, and this is our D. Now, the next question is, how high is the tide at high tide? Now remember, max is the midline plus the amplitude. And it says, the next thing it asks is, how low? So the min would be the D, the center line, or the midline, minus A. So max would be 7.1, oops. I don't want to give it away. Oh, yeah. Well, sorry. So, is 4.4261 plus 2.73, and you will get 7.15. The min is 4.4261 minus 2.73, which equals 1.69. Now, how long to the nearest minute does it take to go from high tide to low tide and back again? In other words, one period. Remember, period, we just talked about this, is 2 pi over b, which is 2 pi, what is b? 0 0.506, which equals 12.42 hours. Now, Simon plans to go fishing at hour 50. How high to the nearest minute 
or sorry, nearest meter, will the tide be when he begins fishing? Okay, so our is our L1, right? So that's our X. L2 is our Y. So when we're looking for X, we're going to go trace. Remember, we always have to hit up. And then we're going to do 50. Okay, so let's go to our calculator. Now I'm going to go to Y equals. I'm going to clear all this. I'm going to right, take that off. And now, so how do we get all that in here? Well, first of all, since we're hitting stat, we're doing stat, we hit plot one. Now on here, remember, how did we get? Well, I guess I should, I'm going to back the truck up here and I'm going to talk about uh, write down how did we get everything into here. We hit stat, edit, and then we did the L1, put everything in, L2, we put everything in. Okay, how did we get this formula? We hit stat, calc, and C, sign, regression. Okay, now, how do we see all this stuff? Well, we first have to go we get plot one on, and then we hit bars. Then we go down to five, statistics. Then we move over to equation, and hit regression equation, and it'll put it in. And then we hit graph. Okay. So I'm just going to take a screenshot and put that down here. But how did we get this? Well, make sure plot one is on. Then we go to y equals. Then we hit bars. Then we go five stats. And then we have to go right, right to equation. And then we'll go down to regression equation. And then to see it, make sure we hit zoom stat. So mine was already there. So I didn't do that one already, but you should hit zoom and you should go all the way down to zoom stat and hit enter. Now, since we're looking for an X value at 50, we'd hit trace 50, oops, trace up 50, enter, and I get an error. Now, why do I get an error? Because if you go to your window, so get out of here, go to your window, my X max is only 39.5, so you've got to put it to 60. Hit graph. Okay, so now go trace up, then put in 50, and you get 4.31 meters. Okay, so maybe I'll just take a screenshot of that. Okay, so there's our answer is 4.31 meters. Okay, so the next few pages are your practice test and then We'll be doing a quiz next period.